With the new Campaigns AI uh, launching, I wanted to quickly take you through start to finish, how to kind of get, get started on that, right? So uh, start by creating or logging into your, uh, your local Falcon account. Uh, and we're gonna go to the dashboard. I'm gonna go to Campaign Scans, create new campaign. Do I guess Subway? Eat fresh. Uh, we'll just use the nine by nine and the uh, the five mile radius for now. Uh, let's see. I'm going to add the locations to my local Falcon account. So Subway. And then we'll add a second one. You can add as many locations as you want. Now that I have my locations added to my account, I forgot to check them. There we go. Uh, I know that this location is in a higher population dense area, so I'm gonna turn down the radius on that one. And I probably don't need as many grid points because I turned down the radius. Um, I want subs near me quick food near me and then you could add as many keywords as you want um, I want to show this off real quick uh, so sub shop in And I only want that to do this location. So I have three keywords. This keyword is only gonna scan the one location. Um, these ones are gonna scan all the locations. This location is using a seven by seven grid and one mile radius. These other locations are using the default that's set, which is nine by nine and five miles. Um, this is what you are gonna wanna pay attention to make sure is on, generate uh, AI analysis uh, on every scan. Yes, you want this to happen. Um, typically every four weeks is going to be your best option here. You can do every two if you want. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to do one time because it's a test. And then I'm going to save. And uh, this is how many credits it's going to use. So let's see. We're looking at 13, 14. So $4 for all of these scans. And I'm doing what? Uh, six times three, 18 different scans. Okay. Um, if you want an email, you can send an email after. I don't need one, so we're gonna hit save. And we're gonna start. Okay, this is, uh, this is done now, and it took about 10-ish minutes. Um, and when you first open the campaign report, uh, that's when the AI is going to start uh, on the campaign. So it'll say your AI is loading here. That takes another few minutes. Um, so you can look through the results uh, above and below the AI analysis uh, in the meantime. But uh, once the AI analysis loads, uh, you'll get, it'll show up here, just refresh periodically. Um, and it'll give you a high level overview uh, and then start moving into uh, the major successes, the major problems, um, minor problems, uh, and uh, some local citations for the areas um, that you should think about, as well as um, top competitors by brand, and then the most vulner vulnerable competitors by brand. Um, and it'll, it'll give you the, the actual lists, um, but it'll actually summarize kind of what's going on. Um, but these counts here are really important. Um, so you'll see right here, so top major problems, 47. Um, and there's eight occurrences, right? So if you see one occurrence of something, it's probably not um, something you need to dive right into, maybe go look at it and make, make your own decision. But when you see eight occurrences, um, that's definitely something that uh, you need to take care of. So uh, in eight of the reports that we ran, um, 
the subway up here, the Google business profile, the uh, does not have the business description in eight different reports. And so I would go through and make sure that the description is added and your phone number is missing. So there's a lot of profiles for these subways that just aren't set up um, properly. And then there's like 10 occurrences of no re reviews from the web, which tells me that subway doesn't have proper schema for these locations showing up uh, or added to location pages on their website or it's login blocked or, or render blocked or something. So they got to fix that. Um, and that would actually do a lot of good for them. Um, and probably my favorite, I mean, I really like these. These are quick uh, areas you can get listed that, that'll help. But uh, most vulnerable competitors by brand, right? So this is looking at um, very uh, individual pins, right? So it looks at a pin, one pin in one, pin in one grid from one report, right? Um, and it goes through all of the pins and, and all of the reports, but these recommendations are, are driven by a single pin. And it says, okay, um, your location is closer to this pin than your competitor. However, your competitor is ranking better. And um, here's why. That's whether it's due to, uh, oh, they have more five-star reviews than you. Uh, so you need 10 more reviews or you're not using this primary category or something, right? Um, I really like these. They're they're quick ways, qu the quick wins to move up the move up the maps, um, and then you can dive into the individual. If we go all the way to the bottom here, you can dive into the actual individual scan reports. So I'll just open up these, and so that's like an overview of what's going on. And it said, okay, we have eight descriptions, oh, uh, eight profiles missing their description. So I can open these reports and go through and say, okay. Um, this one probably loaded already. Here's the scan and the, the analysis for this scan specifically, this location and this keyword, right? And here's the problems specifically that you can go change. And here's the detailed vulnerable competitors where it expands on which pin and, and why it's an opportunity for growth. Um, and it'll do that for each one of the individual reports. And yeah, so that's, that's the campaign's AI. Uh, and how to use it. Um, the last little, like this is an optional optional tip. You can take the share URL here. Um, this is assuming that you don't have like an agency or a team to work with, or, or you don't have the time or your team doesn't have the time. Um, if you want, you can go to pro services, grab that URL, go to pro services, uh, just click other services, view Epic Web Studios. And then if you hit like contact here, and then just paste this URL here, fill out your info. Um, that team will actually uh, go through and um, implement the changes uh, for you, right? Um, yeah, so that's the new campaign's AI. Thanks.